Hey again everyone, welcome to my channel and today ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng Fiverr account. So maraming mga freelancing platforms where you can post your skills or talents and of course, hopefully clients can see those and hire you. Pero minsan nakaka-intimidate especially if it's your first time to create a freelancing account. And isa nga sa mga freelancing platforms is Fiverr. So I'll show you how to set up an account, create your first gig and ipapakita ko rin kung paano mga keyword search and mag-investigate ng mga competitors so you'll have an idea what services you can offer to make money on Fiverr. Okay, let's go! A little info about Fiverr. So basically, mag-create ka and mag-offer ng gigs or mga services sa platform. And yung mga services that you can offer includes writing, for example, editing, uh, you have transcription, or you can do translation. You can offer digital marketing. You can even offer graphics or a web design. And if you know how to sing, for example, you can even offer teaching someone to sing. And those are just a few. We have hundreds and hundreds of possible services that you can offer on the platform. And later on, ipapakita ko kung ano yung mga services na yun. So, ang una natin gagawin is pumunta sa Fiverr.com. And dito sa upper right, click lang natin yung Become a Seller. So, don't worry, we'll sign up together. And then here, it says Become a Seller. And if you scroll down, you know, options ka. I'm a designer, for example. I'm a developer. I'm a writer, video editor, musician, voiceover artist, social media marketer. Or, you can just click on this uh, that says Become a Seller. Okay, so may iba't iba tayong option to sign up. Pwede mag-sign up using your Facebook, pwede din Google, or you can continue with Apple. Or, you can just use your email address. So, that's what I'm going to do. You just type in your email address and click continue. Okay, so ilalagay lang natin yung username and password na gusto natin gamitin for our account. And after that, click natin yung join. So next, kailangan lang natin i-verify yung email natin. So punta tayo dun sa email na ginamit natin for signing up. And after mo ma-validate yung email, you'll see this on top of the screen. It says, account successfully activated. Okay, so meron na tayong account pero it's still not a seller account yet. So we need to click on become a seller again from here. And dadali niya tayo dito sa page na nakita natin kanina. So again, you can select from the options here or you can just click on become a seller. Dadalin tayo dito sa page na to that says ready to start selling on Fiverr. Here's the breakdown. So learn what makes a successful profile, create your seller profile, and publish your gig. And then, mayroong making video here. I recommend you watch it. And then, you just click on continue. Okay, so here's what makes a successful Fiverr profile. So, take your time in creating your profile so it's exactly as you want it to be. Add credibility by linking out to your relevant professional networks. Accurately describe your professional skills to help you get more work. Put a face to your name. Upload a profile picture that clearly shows your face. And to keep our community secure, we may ask to verify your ID. So just click continue. And then ito naman yung mga bagay na kailangang iwasan. So number one, providing any misleading or inaccurate information about your identity. Number two, opening duplicate accounts. Remember, you can always create more gigs. Number three, soliciting other community members for work on Fiverr and lastly requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr then just click continue okay so just fill out your personal information so you need to put your first name and then your last name and then for the profile picture pili lang tayo ng clear na picture nakita yung face natin and of course don't forget the description so take note for description may minimum 150 characters and then 600 for maximum number of characters Okay, so my section here for language proficiency. So, pilin lang natin yung level natin for English. I'm going to select fluent. And then we can also add additional languages. So I'm going to add uh, Filipino. Oh, I think it's Tagalog. So, type Tagalog. Okay. And then, of course, so I'm going to select native. And click continue. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin sa taas, currently nasa number 2 na tayo ng 4-step process of creating a seller account. For the professional info, it says, This is your time to shine. Let potential buyers know what you do best and how you gain your skills, certifications, and experiences. 
Okay, next step is pipili na ng occupation. So just click on the drop down here. And then we have the following options. We have digital marketing, graphics and design, writing and translation, programming and tech, music and audio, video animation, and others. So for our example, we'll select graphics and design. So depende sa pinili niyo yung occupation. So of course, iba iba yung makikita natin dito. But these are the skills for graphics and design. So pili lang tayo ng 2 to 5. And syempre, don't forget to indicate yung mga years na nag ka under graphics and design or whatever occupation you have selected. So for me, I'll be selecting here 2016 to present. Okay, so now indicate natin yung mga skills na related sa mga services na offer natin and their experience level. So for example, I'm typing here logo design and then select expert, click add. And then you can add more skills. So there's actually suggestions here below. So just click on any of those, right? So I clicked on graphic design. I'm selecting expert again. Click add. Then from the suggestions, I have photo editing, right? And then again, select the experience level, right? And let's say expert and then click on add. So you can add as many skills as you want. Yeah, but for our example, I'm just selecting three. Okay, so next is we have a field here for education. And then we also have uh, for certification, like if you attended any uh, certification classes. And then you can also include here your personal website. So by the way, uh, you may mga red na stars like skills and occupation. So mga required field sila. So meaning you really need to indicate kung ano yung mga hinatanong niya. But for the rest like education, certification, and personal website, kung wala ka namang ilalagay, that's okay. Okay, let's click continue. Okay, so next page, i ask ka na link yung other social media accounts mo to add credibility. So you can add Google, Facebook, uh, Twitter. We also have Dribble and Vimeo here. So depending on what you want to add. And then once you're done, click continue. So for my example here, nilink ko yung Google account ko sa yung Facebook. Okay, so last step na tayo ng seller account creation, which is account security. So trust and safety is a big deal. Please verify your email and phone number. As you can see here, na-verify ko na yung email. Hindi ko pa nilalagay yung phone number, right? So you can do that later on. And once you're good, you can click on continue and create your first gig. Okay, so once you click that continue button, this pop-up will show that says you're almost done. So I'm currently at 45%, but it says minimum completion rate of 65% is required to continue. And may mga suggestions siya dito on what you can do to get to 65%. So you can either confirm the phone number, provide other details. So you just click on edit profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my phone number. Tapos, click lang natin, either verify by SMS or verify by call. Tapos, ilagay lang natin yung code na marireceive natin sa cellphone. Okay, after clicking submit, it will say verification is complete. And notice, on the upper right, it will now show that we are now at 80% completion. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin i-click yung finish. And there we go. So you now have a seller account. So pwede ka na mag-start, mag-create ng mga gigs. And we have here a free course, Online Freelancing Essentials. I recommend that you take this course and then you just click on finish here. Okay, and now dadali niya tayo dito sa gig creation page na may six steps. So we have overview, pricing, description, and FAQ, requirements, gallery, and publish. Okay, but before we do anything here, mag-research muna tayo sa mga competitors natin kung ano yung mga pwede natin ilagay dito. So what we can do, we open another window and we need to go to fiverr.com. Tapos search lang natin dito either one of the skills or one of the services that we are offering. So for example, I type here graphic design. And when you click on search, dadaling ka dito sa page where you have all the sellers selling graphics design. And then from here, marami na tayong makikita ng information like yung thumbnail na ginamit nila, how much they're selling the gig for, ilan na yung nag-hire sa kanila based on the number of reviews, and a whole lot more. So what you can do, pili lang kayo ng isa sa mga seller. So just click on the thumbnail and dadaling niya kayo dun sa page where you have the details of that seller's gig. Okay, so from here, marami na kayong makukuhang ideas na pwede nyo gamitin sa own gig nyo. So for example, this client, ang dami niya ng mga natapos na mga gigs. So meron na siyang 1,300 na reviews, meron pa siyang 48 pending orders. 
If you browse through this page, you can see what the seller put in the about this gig. So let me be your personal graphic designer. He indicated the areas of expertise, logos, flyers, and so on. You have here the format type. So he's doing flyers, media kit, and then file format, JPEG, PDF, and so on. You also have here the pricing scheme, the mga different packages in Cinecelia for basic, standard, and premium. Okay, so once you're done doing your research, you can go back to the gig that you're making. Then you can start filling out the fields here. So for the gig title, I'll put here, I will design a thumbnail for your YouTube video. Okay, and next you select a category. So I'm selecting graphics design here. Subcategory, so let's look for, so I'm selecting here social media design. And then select platform, so I'm selecting YouTube because that's what I want to do. And image file format, I will be choosing JPEG and PNG. Okay, so don't forget to put uh, the search tag as well, so this is also required. So you have a maximum of five tags that you can use. So by the way, so if you want to add other platforms here, so for example, you want to add LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, you also have to make sure that you change your title as well. So right now it says YouTube video, so I can change this. I can just put here social media video instead, okay? Social media video, and then of course, since I've already changed my title to social media video, then I can add more platforms. Okay, I'll just add another search tag here. So I'll put video thumbnail. Okay, maybe just add another one and click on save and continue. Okay, so next you will be on the scope and pricing page. So this is where you can indicate how much you will be offering each of the packages. So you can offer basic, standard, and premium if you want to offer three packages. You can also add details here. And what we can do, we can do another research. So let's go to Fiverr and type YouTube thumbnail, which will show us all the sellers selling YouTube thumbnail, of course. So let's check one of those sellers. Okay, so this seller, so marriage from basic for $5, standard for 10, and then premium is $20. So seven thumbnails. So let's check one more. So $5, 15 and 30 Okay. Okay, so let's name the basic package as one YouTube thumbnail. For the standard, so three YouTube thumbnails. And for premium, maybe five YouTube thumbnails. So of course, you can come up with a more fancy name if you want. And then of course, for the description, dito natin ilalagay yung details ng each of the packages. And if you have no idea kung anong ilalagay dito, of course, we can always check our competitors again. So, hanap lang tayo ng ideas or inspiration na pwede natin gamitin. And once you find something, so pwede natin siyang actually i-copy and i-paste dun sa description section sa ginagawa natin gig. Okay, so i-copy lang natin siya sa standard and sa premium and i-adjust natin yung mga numbers. Okay, and then for delivery time, you have options here on how long you think matatapos mo yung isang gig. So you have 2 days, 3 days, 7 days, and so on. And of course, the shorter it is, the more attractive it will be sa mga potential clients. So I'm selecting here just one day delivery. And then you have here revisions. So you can select here kung ilang revisions yung iaalaw mo if the client, for example, uh, is not happy with what you did. So I actually put here unlimited revisions sa uh, description. And I can also do that here. However, medyo careful tayo dapat dito kasi sometimes you'll spend a lot of time and kapag unlimited, so sometimes inaabuse siya ng mga clients. So let's just remove it. Okay, and I'm just going to select two revisions for the packages. Okay, so next is the number of platforms. I remember kanina nilagay yata natin yung social media thumbnail and I selected YouTube and Facebook. So that's uh, two platforms. Pero of course, I need to change my description later kasi it's just saying YouTube uh, thumbnail. But later ko na siya palitan. Then source file if you want to send the working file to your client so they can edit it from their end. And commercial use if you want them to be able to use it for commercial use. Okay, so for pricing, check ulit natin yung competition kung magkano yung packages nila. 
Okay, so once my idea na tayo, lagay lang natin yung mga prices natin for our own gig. Okay, and scrolling down, makikita natin meron tayong option to offer additional services. So for example, you can add additional revisions for extra price, additional platforms, you can send them source file for a cost, or you can offer extra fast delivery uh, for a shorter time, of course, for additional cost. So let's say you want to offer extra fast delivery for one day. By the way, this is only going to work kung yung default natin for the basic package, for example, is more than one day. So let's change this to two days. Then here, so let's say if they want it to be delivered in one day, they can pay additional $5. Yeah, so I'm not going to do it now since ang default ko is one day anyway. So I'm just going to remove this. Tapos ibabalik lang natin yung basic package natin to one day delivery. So itong isa na to, maybe this is something that you can offer. So additional revision. Kasi remember, dun sa taas, nilagay lang natin. Your client can only request for two revisions. So if they want to have another revision, so you can indicate the price here, so $5, and then you can de uh, deliver it in, let's say, one day. Pero hindi natin siya gagawin, so we'll remove natin lahat ng mga extra services. And click on save and continue. Okay, so next is description, pero balik pala muna tayo. So if you don't want to offer the three packages, Meron tayo dito sa taas na toggle switch that when you turn off, would only give you the basic package. Yan. So, turn on ulit natin, tapos save and continue. And then for description, lagay lang natin kung ano yung gusto natin description for our gig. Then for frequently asked questions, lagay lang natin dito yung mga possible na questions na na-anticipate natin from our clients. And of course, kung ano yung answer natin. So, maglalagay lang ako dito ng a few FAQs and answers. So, once done, click save and continue. Okay, and then here, ilalagay natin lahat ng mga kailangan natin from the client para magawa natin yung order nila. So, lagay din tayo ng a few. Okay, so this is what I have. So I have them choose if they prefer JPEG or PNG. I ask them what their brand colors are. And I ask them to attach a sample YouTube thumbnail na gusto nilang gayahin. So this is going to help me create uh, their orders. So once done, of course, you click on save and continue. Okay, next we can upload pictures of sample work that you've done to attract potential clients. And of course, make sure na yung upload natin content ay something that we own or at least we have license to use. So what we can do, we can check in Fiverr again, similar sellers and check out what they have for their thumbnails. So you just click on this forward or back arrow and that's going to give you ideas on what they're uh, doing for their own work. Okay, so let's just add a couple of sample work here and let's add tags. Select the platform, of course. Okay, and then once done, click save and continue. Okay, so you're almost there. Complete the following requirements to start selling. And we just need to answer the question here. So this is for tax purposes. Question is, are you a U.S. person? So no, I confirm that all the services I offer on Fiverr are performed while outside of the U.S. So let's click save, of course. Okay, you'll get a pop-up saying you don't have to fill out the form. So the only thing left to do is to actually publish your gig, right? You can always go back. Kung may nakalimutan ka, that's okay. You can always go back and change or update your information. But once you click on publish gig, that's it. So that's it for today's video. And again, if you find this useful, please click the like, share, and subscribe. And click na rin yung notification bell para lagi tayo updated.